Okay, so I initially said I'm going to talk about this um, kidnap, sham kidnap um, case only over the weekend because I had better things to do. But then I saw this on my other WhatsApp, so I took a screenshot. Let me bring it closer for you to see. Okay, this is it. Perfect. Okay, this is it. So apparently this is Kate's WhatsApp status and um i'm displaying here for my mobile phone so it's like life like i told you guys i had to go through the stress of looking for a way to be able to broadcast life on my phone so while i'm doing anything on my phone you're going to be seeing it here so i'm going to be playing the whole media on every single thing that happened that day okay so for those of us who really do not know much about the whole case um i had this ex-girlfriend of mine who had dated back then so even if I had separated her family members would reach out once in a while and I wasn't you know I, I know obviously most men would you know just tell them I'm no longer dating your sister and you know, stop calling my line and all that but for whatever reasons I wasn't like that I think I still gave them you know, the privilege of being able to communicate with me ask me for anything if something I can afford um, to give I would and that's just how it has always been not until um we have been having this back and front conversation. She chats me all, all the time. I think uh, while while I was dating her that sister, then we're not that friendly, so we don't get to talk much. But she had my number. I can't even recall how she even had my number, but she did. So the first time was we spoke. I think that was on Instagram or there about if I'm not mistaken. I wouldn't want to go to my Instagram now and start opening people's um, private messages. But let me see if I have that kid's uh, message here. I want to see if thank God we can have it. So I can actually pull out, beautiful, I can actually pull out most of these things here. So I want to bring out my phone and see be able to walk through my my Instagram um, phone. Okay. Ah. Phone. Okay, so the, w the way this software I use work is if I'm opening something like this on portrait, you can see it, but if it's something like a media, Let's assume I'm playing a video like this. The video would have to go left, so I'll be the one to drag it right like this. Okay, so let's go to my Instagram. So this was the first time we had chatted. Let me increase it. Okay, so this is the first time. This is the first time we had chatted. I would I could go up, 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 up. Okay, go to newest messages. Good. So I and her sister we had like a history that was back then after which she got my i think she was started chatting from instagram first she messaged me often i want to screw up okay this is it yeah kate it's been ages okay good evening how are you doing you forgot about me you stopped replying my messages okay i think i think it was whatsapp first of all then she made a comment or was it something something maybe for me to message you and kate and say how are you doing say good evening you no longer reply my messages i'm fine with thank god i said i wasn't sure but sorry if i did I was like I was treating you. She said you didn't after all the promises you made because she asked me for something. Then I was like, okay, I'm going to see how I can help you with it. But later on, I couldn't. So I didn't even um, bother getting back to her. She said, fair we thank God. How have you been? Always asking my sister about you. I thought I really don't think that was true because we had ended our relationship 2019. So that was like two years ago. Like two years ago, I and her sister ended our relationship. So you really can't tell me you still think I was dating your sister even after two years. It's not going to be possible. Like obviously the sister must have posted someone else. You act sort of like it's 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 not just this whining obviously. I said yes, I'm here, but I'm outside. She said okay, you went out. Um, yeah, your sister was the best thing that happened to me. Okay, that was when we were dating. Man, that was just a remark. Good one. So this is actually the story that I'm always, even though we had a rough past, I didn't really get to start telling her younger sisters or her younger ones, or oh, your sister was a bad person. No, 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 no. Before she said that I'm condemning her sister and I'm not liking her, that was even nothing like that. Your sister was a nice person. Are you in Lagos? I know, right? Okay. Um, no, just outside the house with my domestic staff. Okay. But you broke her heart. Broke her heart. Okay. You know, I didn't even go, go deep into talking, but I... I I, 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 I don't even start, I don't know how to start sharing relationship matters with people, whether it's your father, your mother, your siblings. I mean, if I'm in a relationship with someone, it's between, the, it's between me and the person. I don't really involve third parties. So even if I have any form of issues, you only just hear that we're, we're having a misunderstanding. I mean, that's where it ends. Daniel doesn't have strength to start telling you, you know, this person, you know, did this or did that because well, calling her a number will show. Because when? okay i'm seeing a message on my computer from the other side okay so yeah okay let's keep reading 
I'm cautioning them on some things. Okay, honestly, I was hot too. Uh, maybe I should have comforted her, but guess what? After we went apart, it was difficult to find someone else. Like, she, she became a standard. Okay, this was very good. Okay, it's always difficult to find a good person once you lose them good. I think there are a lot of good people, but finding a good person who would love you for real is good. Now, the real truth is, Abigail really loved me, like, you know, for real. I mean, I, I could really say a whole lot of shit, you know, with how they were mischievous and the family and everything, how dupious they were, the whole church, blah, 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 stuff. But, I mean, that girl really liked me. That was, that was something I, I know I would never, you know, dispute because I knew, you know, it, she was completely selfless when it came to me. It wasn't about what I had to offer or what would you give me and all that. Okay, she was totally awesome. Okay, let's keep let's keep going straight. I'm glad you're saying this and you realize the mistakes. I mean, I didn't. I don't think I would ever reply that mistake side because it was never really a mistake leaving the relationship. I think at this point I was I was married. At this point, I had gotten married. I had gotten a child, so that was obviously no um, regrets. But I wouldn't want to go there. Um, at least you guys still talk, so we can work things out. No, I wasn't ready to work things out. I think that was I ready to give a reply. Sorry. Okay, morning, Derry. When was this chat that it entered November? Okay, I think we had okay, we had a chat that the first of October. November was the next day and yeah, we talked ah, I apologize, sorry I couldn't call you. She said she called and called because it seems she was calling me consistently and, and I wasn't taking calls. Okay, this is it. She she calls me her evil in law. So felt like we were in laws then because while I was dating her elder sister was the relationship was quite too serious. Seriously an accident I would come to the house often. I think I lost the relevant when i started getting to notice that other guys would actually come to see um abigail like some guys would be able to come home so i was not saying okay fine it's not like i want special guy coming to see her parents like virtually all of abigail's male friends could come to the house and i started figuring out that i wasn't just special and while we we're dating i know she had other people but some i felt she loved me more but the real truth was i backed that because there were just lots of shitty things and I wasn't ready to talk, right? It was really, really bad. I, I, I'm, I'm not just a person who knows how to talk. So I back out from things if they're giving me a headache. My peace of mind comes first. But then she was a nice person when she was because she would always check up, talk often. She was she was okay. She, the love was real and everything. But the real fact was, ah, I can't believe this thing is zoomed out like this. At least let me zoom it. Okay, I'm not kind of on a full scale mode. Okay, good. So you can see the phone completely from A to Z okay fantastic okay so you don't want to talk to me so the real truth is whenever she talks much about her sister and we not been together i don't know how to start you know i don't know how to tell her that like those things are like bygone those are like old just so she message and message she sent this was 2020 in law you know i could kindly let me know when you need my services right because i have a place in like she even told me she could come to the house and cook once in a while like it's it's nothing so but i never told her to come and cook in the house at all so she sent me a what is it called again a page she said hello good evening my in-law this is the page but i couldn't still i don't know where i want to start to tell her say don't call me your in-law not until one day i called and i said please i'm no longer with your sister i've moved on you know this is what my life has been like after we moved on you know the whole marriage yeah, the kids and one and a family okay i didn't tell her about the divorce i didn't even tell her that you know i had divorced i said i had separated from my wife i didn't even go to those sections I just said I had moved on. She said, ah, wow. She was not aware. I said, they're not aware. She said, yes. I said, hmm. I wouldn't want to argue, you know. So we moved on. Okay, she gave me her page and she'd always message me back. Okay, then we spoke one day. She, we spoke at length one day and I asked her if she has done CAC registration. She said, um, I, okay, she, yeah, she, she's almost done with it. And I said, okay, if you're done with your CAC, I'm going to help you with like 200,000 to put into the business. Like, it's little but anything you could get with it i mean i don't really owe her anything that's just 200 k and it's, it's nothing i'm just giving it to somebody whom you know i had a sister uh, i had a history with her sister so it was nothing to me so she said she had done the cac name and i asked her for the cac name and she wasn't coming up with the cac name i think these things were like um these things were like red flags then it's just that we sometimes we sometimes don't pay too much attention especially when we're busy with other things so I think at that point, I did not really come and hammer and say, oh, you lied to me about doing CAC, you don't have a CAC registration. I didn't bother doing it. She just felt CAC was something you could lie off on, even if you have not done. Anybody can track CAC and lie. And unfortunately, I didn't even, I didn't even bother. Like this, I, I didn't even think the reason the matter that much in the sense that it was just, okay, this is what I can help you with and I could help you with that and that is it.
Okay, so she said thank you very much and I was willing to support her. But when I knew the CAC no day, she has not even registered. So why do you like to me? You've registered a business and you want me to help you put money in a business. And I said, okay, whenever your business is ready, you're registered and I'll support you. You didn't. And you now told me you did continuously. I'll ask you the business. You told me, I want to check that business on CAC. The business is not registered on CAC. I don't know how to confront people when they lie. Like, it's, it's annoying because it always ends up with me trying to be the smart or me it, it, it ends up with me looking like i'm trying to be the smart person i'm trying to show you csc website i'm trying to enter my own company name sees active and then maybe you will not come and play games and say oh the person i gave to register the csc did not do it well you know it's not as if maybe the person you paid to do csc did not but when you know even like i i, I don't i just don't, don't like people trying to see I, I don't like trying to i don't like people trying to play games before me so i don't just give room for that even if i know you're lying for some reasons, I'll, I'll let you go. Me carry your lie. They go. I don't get. Nobody get power to come and tell you. See your CSC, your CSC. No day. I didn't give her the two hundred thousand. It felt shady. I left her sister because of shadiness, inconsistency, and now here she is again doing the most similar thing. But for whatever reason, I did not want to like talk much, so I just didn't say anything. She kept messaging me, messaging me, messaging me. Messaging me. One day I said, um, "Hi." Then she said she's been texting me on WhatsApp. So this, this, these are like last year. And she not she she's always replying my this is why I, I did not really believe this whole kidnap case would be a sham, right? This is somebody that follows my WhatsApp, follows my Instagram stories, likes my Instagram pictures, messages me often. If I open my WhatsApp right now, you see Kate's messages often. You know, she's always telling me, Oh, she believes this. Oh, 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 when do you have an opportunity to find me work now? Help my business can make with easy work for your from your from your own end. So me myself, I really do not believe she could actually tell me, is there a job? And I say, yes, there's a job, come over. And then the next thing she'll form up or kidnap something. Like, it's not something I can ever believe would even be possible to even start it. Like, that is why even if I was seeing all the flaws, all the red signs, like every single thing that happened, I still somehow was still saying, this might be real. Not until I saw this WhatsApp status when she said my ovaries. That's when it dawned on me that this girl is posting her ovaries. Like, that, that means she's actually living her life. Like, nothing concerns me. And I'm not like, I don't understand. You know, maybe because I was not. It's just sometimes it's nice to be toxic. Like me myself, I'm a very peaceful person. If she had messaged me on her sister, I started saying, "Oh, your sister uh, did this." Cause what I did, I began there were a couple of times, numerous. I, I would want to. I, I don't. I don't want to start condemning her. That she's not really the the center of the whole thing. But then we separated, right? I broke up the relationship. So now, if she had messaged me and started with, "Oh, your sister was such a very bad person," you know, don't message me. You, your whole family, or just don't reply the way most men would do. I think I won't have been in the position I'm not having mental breakdown or trauma, you know, because somebody who has always told me she needed my help is not trying to play fast one. So this is all her message. She, she will message, she will say, oh, Mr. Dene, how are you doing? How are you doing? Ah, it's been edgy, so, okay, this is her reply, my WhatsApp, uh, my, what is it called again? This is her profile, so you can, you can see. I think she has, she has hurried to put her profile on private. That's beautiful. Okay, um, I've sent you millions of messages on WhatsApp. I was not replying WhatsApp messages. Okay, this was when I said, now, now you see why I said it was difficult for me to believe this girl would pull a stunt on me. She's always, you know, flowing up every single thing I post on my WhatsApp, my Instagram. She looks like a fan. You know, and I, at the point I felt, okay, even if the relationship did not go well between me and Edda's sister, for the fact she reached out to me, her younger sister, Mara, she reached out to me. The brother once in a while reached out to me, like the younger brother, the younger sisters of my ex, they reached out to me, they're constantly following me up. I'm actually at the point, was one of my biggest fans on YouTube. On YouTube, there's this thing they call top fan. Like if you keep commenting on my YouTube channel, sorry, if you keep commenting on my YouTube channel or you, you're always um, re re reacting to my YouTube channel, you often see this, um, you know, top fan. They'll just give you a top fan to show that you, just like on Facebook, we have top commenter. So they're like top fans. I think I'm actually the top fan. I'm not sure Kate has gotten to that top fan, but I'm actually the top fan. She has won my giveaway numerous times. Sometimes I'll be like forced to comment, you know, go and watch this video. Tell me what you learned out of this video tutorial and all that. I'm actually would go there, watch that video, and write a lesson, like like a comprehension of what she learned. So that simply means they were actually watching what you're saying. They were listening to you. They were actually getting information from you. You're getting inspired by you. Let me use that word. So, you know, when you have, when you feel people are getting inspired by you, and they look up to you in high regards. You know, you somehow don't really think they would want to play games with you, right? Or people could, you know, be malicious like this. Okay, so this was how I replied one of my posts when I when I said um, they are trying to blow my candles, but they're not going to succeed. And she said, but they won't succeed. And, you know, I, I didn't even see it. And I'm interested, though. I think this was a job I posted. She said she's interested, though. Um, she said, she says that, this is what I was talking about. 
a um, vacation. She said, Uncle I, she was like, I'm going to follow you on a vacation. And I didn't reply. She said, today's her birthday. I don't have a phone. I logged in my IG with a friend's phone. Oh, sorry. And then I came back online. I think I was online. This was like, I don't know what the time, what time. Okay, 4 a.m. So I was online by 4 a.m. I said, are you awake? She said, she's still awake. Today's my birthday. I just turned 24. You know, she sent me messages. I said, oh, how are you doing? I think I was not really online that much. She said, please show me some love. I don't have a phone. Lots of other messages. I said, how are you doing? I'm always saying, how are you doing? Don't mind me. It's like a reflex action. If I put my message, I will just type, this is how it works. H1, how are you doing? So I've already configured my phone. Whenever I'm, with, I'm chatting, I can just type afternoon. It's afternoon now. Okay, sorry, afternoon, comma, H1, how are you doing? And I send it. So I sent, how are you doing? How are you doing? I said, can you take a call for a moment? I don't know if, I don't think we spoke on phone because she kept calling. I didn't take any of the call. You know, and that was it. This was November. She, you see how she's still replying my messages or reply my stories and constantly sending me messages. You know, these were the things that really made me feel this girl need help. Or like I'm really, I'm, it's, I'm I really need to support her. Even if I had dated her other sister, and it did not go well, man, I shouldn't really be that upset. Like this girl looks like she has potential. She looks like she's serious. And these are her messages posting. Then this was when I went to Lagos for a birthday, um, during December, my premium birthday, and this was her as well. You know, she, she, she unfollowed me because I posted, I went live that day. Oh, she, oh, follow back. Ah, she's even following me. So that means, <laughs> so that means the whole issues talking about her whole matter and the rest. She must have gone through the video and somehow she, she doesn't have a thing to say. Okay, it's beautiful. Um, okay, so that was it. This was when I went to a birthday and now you can see that the messages are fainty. I really, really respond to any of her message. If I open my, my, what is it called again? my whatsapp it's like almost the same thing hey, you know how she looks up to me assist me and all that okay so this is like a short breakthrough of you know the relationship between her other sister and i her other sister had a history we separated you know even when the younger ones reach out to me maybe because of the way they've been following me up before now i don't really want to give them some harsh reality and tell them oh i'm not with your other sister you know don't message me and all that i just waved it off man it's not it's not worth talking i mean okay fine it's not like it's, it's a month you're going to be with someone it doesn't go through okay move on if they reach out to you it doesn't really mean you know anything if anything is bad you know if you can support you support um a software programmer if they have questions to ask you know they could still come in and tell me oh do you know something so in tech please you know like I, I i can respond whenever i'm free i don't really think there's any reason to have this enmity and i feel that was what gave this room to keep on communicating with them not until you know it's turned sore to this stage okay so let us go straight to when this whole thing started we had recently chatted on whatsapp that was i think i should uh, drop that chat uh, it's, it's on my other phone okay this is someone else okay this is someone else telling me how she had done okay let me let me put this thing here so you'll be able to see you'll be able to see what i'm doing oh, fantastic i i don't think you can really see it to because then the phone now has to squeeze so it's either this way or mm, let me see if i can yeah okay. good okay the phone is it's it's kind of um how do i put it if if i'm on an app right it stays steady like let me open youtube now this is the youtube app so if i'm on an app like this Oh, it's like it wants to play a video. The moment it wants to play something, it's a problem. So let me stop playing. And if I stop playing, it gets normal. So anything that looks... In, ah, it's playing another video. Let me just go to my... Good. Anything that looks like a video... <laughs> so Kate has been... Hey, hey God. Hey. It's actually hard to believe this. So Kate has been following me up. Although, hey, this is my YouTube. Right, so you can see the... Sorry, you can see the YouTube here like this. So, but now if I open up any media like um i'm gonna open up this media okay now this is a media and at the moment i touch any video it spreads it so just get used to it okay so let us start with the chat um let me take this back because it will need to spread again okay we first had this chat on the oh that was okay this one this was when i i was trying to scream record the whole incident okay when he started going to my started scream recording okay now let me be pausing so this was let me let me keep going up. i think i i kept go, um, going up go up go up hey did i okay forward okay to some people 
um ah i think i'm going to cut that side up or that phone number side i'm going to cut it off or i'm going to look for a way to blow that side okay fine i forwarded the audio to some people so i could have backup of the audio should anything go wrong now you can actually see okay that's a matching because i think i forwarded i don't know what i forwarded to her let me keep going front okay so i, I did some backup um I want to let me let me get the media's war first. Let me get let me go to the video and look for war because I forwarded this video to some people. And I don't want sensitive phone numbers here in here. Okay, I'm trying to Okay, so since I'm streaming it it will be okay beautiful okay fantastic fantastic i forwarded the audio to some people someone's phone number should i don't like the fact someone's phone number should there yeah. it's it's annoying i don't want i don't know how i'm going to blow it i'll try my best to blow that person's phone number that should add it up okay so let us proceed okay i think the first thing i did <laughs> this is my ex the first thing i did was to check my ex status i wanted to know if my ex was actually you know in any in any bad position and uh, this was my ex right my ex was posting a video of her in a car then moved over i checked my s my ex sister which is amarachi the i did this in on screen record because as of then i was noticing something was funny so this was amarachi amarachi was posting how what did she what did she what did she post again when i was trying to make it in modeling what fat and distraction no green okay she wanted to go for modeling beautiful now i checked amarachi's status amarachi is posting about modeling Abigail, her other sister, which is my ex, is on a car having her normal stuff, talking about how ah, how she needs. Oh my God, I have a I have a girl's lodge apartment in Chevy Chevron for 17k weekly. Other lodge charge 25k, but is going for 17k weekly. Master's room, just three occupants needed. Text me. She has told me about this business before. She said it's about renting an apartment, having some call girls stay at the apartment, and then they pay. When I had the thing, it, it sounded nice, but I mean, I, I don't want to. I don't want tomorrow somebody will tie me to hu human trafficking, or I'm doing something that has to do with you know brutal men sleeping with girls. I don't. I just don't want. I've seen people who okay, look at Andrew Tate. The moment they they, they, they tie you to yeah, human trafficking, it's a problem. So when when she told me about it, I said if it's short let apartment for we to rent a house. And then furnish it, and people start renting it as shortlets. I'm into it, but if it's not for girls who do runs to come there and stay, I just don't want any trouble tomorrow. Because at the end of the day, if there's any issue, since it's a service apartment, they would always want to call the landlord or whoever rented this property. So what happens when they keep on calling me for issues of some runs, girls are in the house? So I just told my ex that that business is not a nice plan, you know. So I didn't go. I didn't go with it. So this is my ex. So she was. I think she has gotten an apartment from someone. Good luck to her. So she was she posted a normal stuff like her normal business, her in a car, and her younger sister posted something nice. But this is kids. Hold on, let me see. Uh, I'm scared to make a collapse. Okay, so this is kids. And this was when kids sent me. Okay, this was before then. This was when kids sent me. I want to go back to when kids sent me. Hold on, I want to go back to when kids sent me that ransom. Or that USD. Okay, this was kids. What is the ransom? Pay five thousand dollars USD to ten PM today. No talk any person, right? Now, let me tell you why I had skepticism with this message. First of all, I don't think I've even given you guys a full breakdown. And kids okay, so started chatting, or we're, we're chatting like last year. There were little little opportunities last. Year. I even had my birthday, you know, last year. So I I often like fly people into Abuja, especially if I'm having occasions like that. So numerous times, uh, my birthday wasn't one of them because she wasn't aware of my birthday. But numerous times she would always be like, "Can I come over? Should I come over to the house?" And like, girls, oh, when will I come to Abuja? Like, it's it's always like that. And usually it's work related. It's not personal. It's not, oh, let me come and see you. I haven't seen you in ages. It's usually something around. Please help me if there's a job. You know, I'm done with school. I'm done with my service or there about. I don't know. Okay, please help me with anything you can help me with. You know. So me myself, I was not really ready to work with her. Or let's just say that I've been no vacant then, not until ending of last year we talked. We talked about her coming, running some errands, there will be some staffs around, and then it did not hold again till this year. This year was when I now reached back to her and I said, okay, fine, would you want to come over for the job? She said, yes. I said, okay, no problem. I said, I'm going to make transfers. So I did like two transfers to her. The first one was to Access Bank. She said she did not see. She's going to go to the bank to verify, you know, the whole thing, to know what is wrong, um, if there's an issue or there about. I think the biggest mistake I made 
was not um going on this screen record i did was not going up you know before then you'd have actually read more you know it, 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 i would have to start opening different different um videos now which i had screwed up on this video you'd have been able to see um the conversation she said access bank she did not see it she would have to use um polaris so she sent me polaris bank i, I paid i sent money on access today she said she did not see it access to access the following day she said polaris bank so i i said ah, you have not seen the access access to access is usually very instant so you saying you have not seen it is quite weird and then she said that ah, she has not seen it she's not gonna lie it's not gonna be. I, I mean myself like i said i've always known how to be somebody who keeps calling who keeps messaging you know i want business i want to work so you know I, I even forgot about the cac incident i don't know how we forget about things but i forgot about that cac incident and it's really painful that i forgot about the cac incident and then i i for someone who really liked she did cac telling you to help out the money you promised her for business could go extra length but let's just say it was a long time ago 2021 okay i think i have a call i have a call here so i'm gonna take this call okay please i am on live record you want to talk to me no wait you want to call the number you want to call kate's number yes i wanted to call the number so we should pick up Okay, man. Let me give you a video call, on um, which is a FaceTime call. Are you are you prepared to call? Yes, I am. Okay, okay. So when you're ready, let me know. I'll be sharing my screen. I'll, I'll be sharing the what's it called again? Phone. Let me take this back. Okay. Okay. So you can actually make your call. You can make it a FaceTime. Many of them. Okay. I'm calling her now to see if she would pick up. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Why you? Okay. Hello. Hello, Kate. Yes. What's up? Sorry. I've been trying to reach you for some days. Now, what's happening? Yes. This is blessing. This blessing. Blessing now. Wait, let me step in. Kate, you have not been taking my calls. You might want to hang up with you. She has ended the call. Oh, she, she ended the call immediately. Yes, she did. Maybe she heard your voice. She ended the call. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so that was that was Kate. She ended up the call the moment she had my voice. Oh man, it's 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 it's, <laughs> it's very funny. Okay, that's good. <laughs>